Okay, so today I've got something to tell you about which isn't just a fantastic puzzle and an unsolved problem. It's also a really amazing game. Very, very enjoyable. It's called Sprouts. And the idea is that you start with a few spots, or dots if you like, on, on a piece of paper. The more spots you start with, the harder the game is to play. But let's start with two spots now. And uh, we have two players, and we take it in turns to make moves. Now, a move involves drawing a line, um, a curved line, maybe something like this. And um, after you've drawn a line, you have to put a new spot on the line that you've just drawn, anywhere you like. You can draw any kind of curved line and put any kind of spots you like. But there are two conditions that you have to obey. One condition is that lines are not allowed to cross each other. And the other condition is that you can't have more than three lines touching a spot. Okay, so this spot here, for example, this has got two lines touching it. But it can't have more than three. So the idea is that the two players take it in turns, and if you can't go, you lose. Really simple idea. But it's a fantastically interesting game. So, um, remember, we started off with two spots, and let's say this is my first move. And then perhaps my opponent, maybe they try mimicking, maybe they do a move like this. Okay, so now I could say, well, I shall do my move like this. I'll connect these two spots, and I can draw a new spot on, and I have to draw a new spot on the line I've just made. And my opponent, once again, could mimic me. They could draw a line like that. Actually, they could draw a line like that. I mean, that's just to be different, let's say they do this. Okay. And so now it's my turn. But notice that I can't actually move. I mean, um, I can't draw any lines that are touching these spots here, because these all have three lines on them. And remember, you're not allowed to have more than three lines in contact with a spot. So the only potential thing I could do would be to connect this spot here with this spot here. But I can't do that because I'm not allowed to cross lines. So in this situation, I lose. So, um, let's just recall how this game actually went. A nice way to, um, to look at this is to make a kind of game diagram. So, um, hopefully this paper's big enough to draw it. We started off with two dots. Player one did this. We got to here. Player 2 did similar. And we got to here. Player 1 did this. And we're in this situation. And then player 2 did this. And this is where player one lost, because they can't move anymore. Now, player one actually made a mistake at this point here. What they should have done is, instead of linking like this, they should have done... Well, maybe you can pause the video and think about what player one should have done instead. It turns out that what they should have done is done this, link these two here. So that should have been player one's move. And now player two. I don't think it really matters what they do. So I mean, whatever they do, Let's just say they do this. And now player one can do this. Let's shift over here a bit.
And hopefully you can see now that player um, the player two cannot actually move in this situation. So if the game goes this way, then player two wins. But if player one's smart enough to do this way, then player one wins. But of course there's lots of other ways that this game could pan out. Even just starting with two spots, there's lots of different possibilities. And, um, you know, it's a very, very interesting thing to play and to analyse. It's actually a really hard game to play because you've got to think about... I mean, it's all about sort of um, fencing off different, um, different groups of spots so that you change the number of moves that can be played in the game. Um, okay, so a puzzle for you then is to figure out what's the perfect strategy when you start with two spots. So you know the rules. Now, tell me, if both players play perfectly, then who's going to win? So um, one way you can figure it out is to draw out a kind of game tree like this and sort of go through all the possibilities and figure out which player wins. Another question for you is what happens when you have more spots? Does the game always end? Okay, is it possible that the game could go on forever? Or does it always end? So these are very interesting problems which you should have fun looking at. Now, the open problem is how do you play this game in general? Nobody knows. Nobody knows the perfect way to play in general. They've used computers to uh, work out the answers up to a certain point, but nobody knows the perfect strategy uh, in general. So if you start with, say, 10 spots or 60 spots or whatever, what's the best way to play? Well, no one knows. And um, it's been a problem which has been open for quite a long time, and I imagine some kind of new techniques are required that that you could maybe bring to bear on this problem. So um, have fun with this.